Here's a five-step guide to transferring your GoDaddy domain to Shopify. Step one, unlock your domain on GoDaddy. To begin the transfer process, you need to unlock your domain in your GoDaddy account. Log into your account. Go to the domain section and select the domain you want to transfer. Navigate to the additional settings section and look for the domain lock option. Turn it off to unlock the domain. This step ensures that your domain is ready for transfer. Step two, retrieve the authorization code. Once your domain is unlocked, the next step is to get your authorization code, also known as the EP code, in your GoDaddy account. Look for the transfer domain away from GoDaddy option. Follow the prompts and GoDaddy will email the authorization code to the email address associated with your account. Keep this code handy. You will need it to initiate the transfer with Shopify. Step three, Start the transfer in Shopify. Log into your Shopify admin panel and go to settings, then click on domains. Select transfer domain and enter your GoDaddy domain name when prompted. Shopify will ask you for the authorization code you retrieved from GoDaddy. Input the code and Shopify will verify your domain. Once verified, complete the payment to initiate the transfer, which includes a one-year domain renewal. Step four, confirm the transfer via email. After initiating the transfer, Shopify will send a confirmation email to the administrative email address associated with your domain. Open the email and follow the instructions to approve the transfer. This step is essential for completing the process. After approval, the transfer may take up to seven days to finish, although it's often quicker. Step five, Finalize the setup on Shopify. Once the transfer is complete, your domain will automatically appear in the domain section of your Shopify admin panel. Shopify will manage your DNS settings, so your domain will point to your Shopify store without any additional work. If you previously used custom DNS settings, double check that everything is configured correctly to avoid disruptions. Be prepared to wait, as sometimes it can take some time for the whole process to finish. Thanks for watching.